Hello everyone, welcome you all in my YouTube channel. In this video series, we will talk about CSA exam. CSA exam is conducted in a service now technology. Basically, in order to get the basic concepts of service now fundamentals, we have to qualify CSA exam. CSA exam is Certified System Administration exam. In this exam, total timing will be of 90 minutes. Total number of questions will be 60. Passing percentage will be 70% and maximum percentage will be 100%. And if we are going to talk about the topics in CSA exam, there are five main topics that are included in this exam. And these topics are user interface and navigation, collaboration, database administration, self-service and process automation and intro to scripting and application tools. Coming towards question. Question number one is which module in service catalog application is used to create catalog item? Options are A. Maintain category B. Maintain item C. Content item and D. Item and the correct options would be option B, maintain item. Next question, which of the following would not appear in the history section of the application navigator? Options are A, record, B, pages, C, list or D, form. And correct option would be option B, pages. Coming to the next question. Which term refers to the application menace and module which you may want to access quickly and often? Options are breadcrumb, option B, favorite, option C, tag, and option D, bookmark. So correct option would be option B, favorite. Next question, which term best describe something that is created? has work performed upon it and is eventually moved to the state of close. And options are A, report, B, workflow, C, event, or D, task. And correct option would be option D, task. Coming to the next question, which of the following are a type of client script supported in ServiceNow? And we have to select any four. And these are the options that we have given option a on submit option b on update option c on sell edit option d on low option e on edit option f on change and option g on save and we have to select any four client scripts that are supported in service so the correct four scripts are option a on submit Option C on cell edit, option D on load, and option F on change. Next question What is a formatter? And select one of the following. Options are a formatter allow you to configure application on your instance. Option B formatter is a form element used to display information that is not a field in the record. Option C Formatter allows you to populate field automatically. And option D, formatter is a set of conditions applied to a table to help find and work with the data. And correct option would be option B, a formatter is a form element used to display information that is not a field in the record. Next question, which one of the following statement describes Contents of CMDB, that is Configuration Management Database. Options are Option A, the CMDB contains the data about tangible and intangible business assets. Option B, CMDB contains business rules that direct intangible configuration assets used by the company. Option C, CMDB are all service management paths 
equipment metadata and usage statistics and option d cmdb contain itil process data pertaining to configuration item then correct option would be option a cmdb contain data about tangible and intangible business assets next question which one of the following statement describe the purpose of a service catalog workflow options are option a service catalog workflow generate three basic components and the components are item variable type task and approval option b although a service catalog workflow cannot send notifications the workflow drives complex fulfillment processes option c service catalog workflow is used to drive complex fulfillment processes and send notifications to define users or groups option d service catalog workflow generate three basic components items types tasks and notifications and correct options would be option c service catalog workflow is used to derive complex fulfillment processes and send notifications to define users or groups next question which of the following statement describe the purpose of an order guide options are order guide respects the number of items in an order to only one item per request option b order guide provide a list of guidelines for administration on how to set up item variable option c order guide provide ability to order multiple related item as one request and option d order guide take the user directly to check out without prompting for information and correct option would be order guide provide ability to order multiple related items as one request next question which type of interface enable you to display multiple performance analytics reporting and other widgets on a single screen options are a form b list c dashboard and d time and correct option would be dashboard 